today we've got a bit of fun. We've got this little Tontec padlock from Rob Locks. This came in his uh, giveaway parcel uh, for his 100 subs. And um, when I got it, it was all locked up. Had a quick go at decoding it and discovered that the combination was 1, 2, 3, 4. So normally it would just have left that like that and tried decoding it uh, on video, but as 1, 2, 3, 4 isn't really such an exciting combination, I thought I will um, change it. But first of all, this lock. This lock is a very common kind of padlock, very readily available on Amazon and eBay. If we look at the body, um, it's some sort of cheap cast material, uh, and it looks like they've made it in two halves and sort of sandwiched it together. We have what look like some rivets here. Not sure if those are uh, structural or just um, for aesthetics. Uh, very nice textured design on it. Get some nice close-ups of that. And I did actually notice here that the they've, in my opinion, they've put that uh, logo on the wrong side because if you think about it, the majority of people are right-handed, so they're going to put the lock on this way around so that they can work the, the dial with their left, their right hand and hold it with the left hand. Um, this is this is made for left-handed people, so they can see the see the uh, logo there. Um, anyway, um, although it's a, a really inexpensive kind of lock, it does feel very nice, uh, I must admit. The tolerances seem uh, pretty good. There isn't actually a lot of, of rattle in there. You get more rattle uh, than that in an Abus uh, combination padlock. Um, just overall, uh, very very simple little little padlock. It's not really intended for high security uh, purposes, I don't suppose. I guess it's for uh, lockers and stuff. So, uh, what I'm going to do, change the combination and try decoding it. So we turn it 90 degrees and push down. And a really nice little feature on this is that you can turn it when you push it down and it actually locks it there in the uh, reset position. So you don't have to uh, hold it down like you have to with most other combination locks. So I'm now going to hold it away from me, muddle up the combination, and once I'm sure that everything's in uh, in position and not between two numbers or anything. I can turn that and lock it up. There we go. I also like to turn the dials in both directions when I lock it up just because um, if you turn it all in one direction it's I think it can be somewhat easier to open. Uh, we'll just change these to... Uh, we'll put it to one, two, three, four just to prove that the old combination definitely doesn't work. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the, you know, step by step how to decode one of these. I've already done that with the ABUS combination lock. What was it? 165 slash 45, I think it was, the ABUS. Um, I don't really remember. Uh, but I think I described in that video how to decode these pretty much. I just pull tension on the shackle, turn all the dials, until they lock up. That's locked up. Okay, and then I just feel for the most binding one, and in this case it's the first one there. First one again. And the third one was bind the fourth one was binding a little bit. First one again. So while I'm doing this kind of tedious task, I guess we can, we can talk about some stuff that's been going on in the community. Last week, I think it was, uh, UK Locksports got a huge uh, upgrade. Um, and at first I didn't really like it, uh, to be honest, because I personally think if things are working, you should just leave them the way, the way they are. But um, the guys over at UK Locksports have done a great job there. and. Uh, so if you haven't been on in a while, or you haven't been on at all, definitely go and check it out. Uh, it looks really awesome now. Okay, that was it. I think we turned, yep. Yeah. So, 9132 was a combination. 
I was surprised to find that this does have uh, false gates in it. Um, I guess we could figure out how many false gates it has. So we've got nine there as a true gate. So one, two, three. Three false gates and a true gate. Let's try that again on this one. So one, two, three. And then a true gate. So three false gates in each dial, and that's that's pretty impressive for a cheap little lock like this. Um, and now in in every video, I want to uh, reach the end of, a conclusion at the end of the video uh, whether or not I would use a lock. And um, in this case, I would use it for a locker. Uh, I think that's quite impressive for such a cheap little thing. Uh, for a garden shed, well. Probably not because this isn't designed for a garden shed or you know outdoor use. I don't think. Um, I don't know about the hardness of the shackle, uh, but generally combination locks don't tend to be very secure for outdoor use. They're they're more for convenience than than security. And something I uh, generally say when it comes to combination locks, uh, you don't need a key to open them, so you don't need a tool to uh, to decode them. Um, and that applies to an awful lot of combination locks, and any combination locks that don't uh, apply to that rule um, are uh, will generally be opened with a decoding knife anyway, so they're not really um, for security, uh, just, just convenience, and you must treat them in that way. But anyway, a uh, really nice, surprising little Tontec. Uh, padlock from Rob Locks. A uh, huge thank you, Rob. Um, it's been some, it's been fun, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll be passing this on to somebody else so they can hopefully have some fun. Anyway, uh, hopefully I can get some more videos done soon. Uh, it's been really fun to make this one. Uh, I'm starting to remember how nice it is to make videos again. Um, I know I've been dropping out the past couple of of months, I guess, of not been making very many videos, but. Uh, such is life. Anyway, a uh, big thank you guys for for stopping by today, for watching, and uh, don't forget to check out UK Lock Sports if you have some spare time. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.